Let's face it, Britain's been having a hard go of it lately. Downing Street having coughed up three prime ministers just over the last year. The latest, Rishi Sunak, is on the verge of making it to a whole year in office. But he's also being blamed for what critics are calling broken Britain, quite literally. Why did that shatter so easily? Lessons on all things concrete are being offered up on the nightly news after Sunak's government ordered more than 100 schools to close buildings, citing weak and aging concrete in danger of collapse. And they did it just a few days before the start of the school year, even though the problem had been flagged in 2018. The opposition has gone to town. Children cowering under steel props to stop the ceiling falling in on their heads. The public realm is literally crumbling around the next generation. Less than 1% of schools are affected, but other public buildings like theatres and hospitals could be at risk too, making it the metaphor of the moment for a Great Britain not feeling quite so great. Just ask daily commuters who say they can't tell the difference between a normal train service and one that's striking. And it's been a year of strikes. Train drivers, teachers, lawyers, doctors and nurses all asking for real wage increases in the midst of a cost of living crisis. government is blaming the strikes for increased wait times in the National Health Service, wait times Sunak has pledged to bring down. The opposition here puts it all down to more than a decade of austerity under successive Conservative governments, and opinion polls these days put the Labour Party a good 20 points ahead of Sunak with an expected election call next year. The most important issue, whether you're a Labour voter or whether you're a Tory voter, is the cost of living. Then things like public services and things like that. And you've got to show that we're moving in the right direction on the economy for the Conservatives to have any chance at all. And we haven't even mentioned the B word, Brexit. Still a touchy subject here. Recent opinion polls suggesting more than half of Brits now think it was a mistake. Margaret Evans, CBC News, London.